the 10th gathering of Pal America's Parliamentary Network for Gender Equality. Climate change poses a serious global threat that is increasingly being felt in many areas of the Americas and the Caribbean. All members of the population experience the impacts of climate change differently, but some groups, including women, are likely to experience compound levels of risk. These groups also tend to have unequal access to decision-making processes at all levels, which hinders their ability to contribute their knowledge and experience to climate-related planning, policy-making, and implementation. Pal Americas recently held its 10th gathering of the Parliamentary Network for Gender Equality under the rubric Gender Responsive Climate Action. Parliamentarians can play a critical role in ensuring that their countries and legislators adopt a gender-responsive approach to climate action. This will help to ensure that entire populations are involved in and protected by efforts to understand and adapt to climate impacts. The Parliament Channel sat down with Senator Mobina Jaffa, Vice President, North America Executive Committee of the Pal Americas Parliamentary Network for Gender Equality. How important are conferences like these? The most important thing is to get parliamentarians from different parliaments to come together and to see what is taking place in different places. And what we learned here under the leadership of the speaker, uh, Anaset George, and the deputy speaker Ford and others is, and the, the president of the Senate is, how they welcomed us and the tone they set, which, which really led to open discussions, the tone they set, because these are tough topics to talk about. There's a, there are a lot of barriers, and these are new things we are learning. And the tone set by parliamentarians of Trinidad and Tobago, I really commend and thank them. Explain the GBA Plus tool that Canada uses and why it helps. First, we had the gen gender-based analysis, which, which involved gender, just, just sex in the sense of men or women, gender. But now, our parliament, and I completely agree with this, has added, for example, uh, people with sexual orientation, race, ethnicity, uh, older people, uh, single parents. So it's to look at the realities of different people and look that, for example, at this point we are studying, we're studying climate change for, at this conference and how chi climate change affects men and women differently. It affects single elderly men differently. And so GBA uh, Plus helps us to identify the group and see how it affects that group differently. What did you take away from the conference? Well, I learned a lot of things at this conference. One was how uh, parliamentarians from Trinidad and Tobago have come together and working on this issue. I'm certainly taking that back. And the other thing I'm taking back is I learned enough knowledge on how to ask questions of other, you know, the ministers. So I got further knowledge on, on how to look at uh, gender and climate change. And that's a very important issue in Canada as well. So I learned both how to use gender and climate change to ask the tough questions of ministers. <laughs>